from the afro to John Lennon's favorite sunglasses. Stay tuned to number one to find out the best retro fashions that have made a comeback. Number 10. The Fro You could argue that this never really died, but in recent years the afro has once again become a popular hair choice for many people. This was really popular back in the 60s and then became associated the most with the 70s via disco, which also never died. And it's not hard to see why this particular hairstyle has emerged back in recent years. After all, recent years have really expanded the notion of expressing yourself in a way that feels cool to you and you alone. So for those who have the ability to rock the big hair, why not? And it's not one gender following this fashion trend, there are plenty of men and women out there right now with fros of various sizes. Not all of them are massive like they were in the 70s, but some do have that massive size. Others are more simple, compact, yet still are worthy of the fro name. And while it may be odd to some to see the fro back in action compared to other hairstyles that are out there in the world right now, this is tame by comparison. Number 9. The Choker Once considered a very bold fashion statement, the choker has become a bit more common in the last couple years or so, and now it's a symbol of being a bit dark or edgy. But for some people, it's just something that they want to wear to make themselves stand out a little bit from the pack which is how many fashion trends start, if you think about it. Also, given the style craze that's gone on recently, it's not hard to see the jet black chokers getting a bit of a more colorful look in the hands of those who know what they're doing. Plus, unlike a necklace, they're easier to see, honestly because of how they're worn. They're almost impossible to miss, which is no doubt the point for some. Another thing that makes the choker even more popular today is that, because of how simple it is in terms of shape, you can literally wear it with just about any outfit and it won't clash with it. Very few items have that type of versatility. Number 8. Tie-dye Before we talk about this psychedelic comeback, take a moment to like this video and join the Zero to Hero community by clicking that subscribe button below. The 60s were a very interesting time in the United States, and not just because of all the substances that were being passed around, if you get what I'm saying. The desire to be free in numerous ways was paramount, and that meant going beyond the usual styles and stories that had driven people for so long, which is why tie-dye was such a popular clothing item back in that decade, and it's making a comeback now. Tie-dye is quite simply a mashup of colors into a unique pattern that makes it seem much more groovy or psychedelic, or something along those lines. You can't deny the patterns can get pretty cool depending on who you get them from, and there were millions wearing these shirts, pants, blankets, and more back in the day. And now, they're just another item that can help you stand out from the crowd. Plus, many have actually refined the tie-dye style a bit to make it seem a bit more businesslike, should you want that. Number 7. Leather Jackets Personally, I never remember the leather jacket going out of style, but then again, I'm not exactly fashion hip. For a long time, leather jackets were cool, but they were associated with thugs, especially during the 1950s. Then, as the style evolved, they became more popular with bikers in their groups. And then, when the hit TV show Happy Days came out, the fawns showed that leather jackets are a definition of style coolness, followed by the movie Grease, which helped this style launch into stardom. Still, somewhere along the line, people decided to stop wearing leather jackets for the most part, which is fine, it was their choice. Just it was someone's choice to help restart the trend. And now in 2019, leather jackets aren't just in, they're a key part of many people's attire. From models to singers to professional wrestlers, there are many people who love their leather jackets. Not the least of which is because you can have them tailored to fit you and your personal style. So whether you want them a bit baggy or tight, custom in terms of what's on the back or whatever else you can think of, you can find the perfect leather jacket for you. Plus, like a lot of other items in 2019, a leather jacket can be worn with just about any clothing combination. Casual wear, business, fun, serious, or just everyday wear. There's a lot of ways to make the leather jacket work with your style. Number 6. The John Lennon Sunglasses Sunglasses, as a whole, are a necessary item for many people who don't wear glasses on the regular. And even then, some people need both glasses and sunglasses. 
and leave it to designers to try to make all kinds of legendary styles of sunglasses over the years. But one of the most popular of them are the John Lennon sunglasses. You know, the version modeled after the late legendary singer and member of the Beatles. Lennon had a rather interesting life, especially when he became famous and his sunglasses were a major part of his look, which he used to his advantage. Anyway, the sunglasses became very popular, especially in the 90s if you can believe it. But now, they're not only back, they're very popular once again. There are many ways to explain this resurgence in popularity. First off, they're very functional sunglasses. They cover all of your eyes, which is what you want from a pair. Second, the glasses are very stylish and aren't so massive that it looks like you're wearing something inches thick. Finally, there are a lot of people who remember John Lennon, and while they may not have honored him by wearing these before, they have decided to do that now. Number 5. Bell Bottoms Let's be honest here, bell bottoms are one of the most iconic retro trends that just keep coming back. But one thing that most people don't realize is that they first got their start all the way back in 1812, where they were worn by sailors in the US Navy. In the 1920s, they resurged again in women's fashion before falling out of style. The most famous resurgence, though, was definitely the disco era of the 1970s, where bell bottoms were all the rage. Fast forward to the 2000s, and bell bottom jeans have made a fashion comeback in a major way, but not only in the way you think. Bootcut jeans are massively popular, and they got their start from, well, you guessed it, the fashion trends of bell bottoms. Who knew? Number 4. Flannel Shirts There was a time when flannel shirts were mocked by anyone who didn't wear them. Mainly because they were associated with lumberjacks, Canadians, who I love, go Canada, and people who just didn't have any fashion sense. And yet, anyone who's actually worn flannel, they know that it's just truly a comfortable thing to wear. Plus, it keeps you warm most of the time. But flannel really had its peak back in the 1990s during the grunge rock scene before slowly fading away into oblivion. Or so we thought. Thankfully, people have come around to it thanks to media and other outlets, and suddenly it's not so bad to wear flannel, and we should all be grateful for that. Now, flannel shirts especially are in, and they can be used as overshirts, if you will, to help bring out the style of a piece. And again, they keep you warm. You can also thank the show Supernatural for showing off flannel to the world and showing how the common man can look really good in it. Number 3. Power Suits Once upon a time, the only people who could wear power suits were ones that were in the upper echelon of the business world, or those who were in politics and had to present themselves in a certain way for their peers to respect them and take them seriously. But now, well, just about anyone can wear a power suit. Celebrities wear them quite often. Victoria Beckham, wife of David Beckham, has a set of power suits for herself, and she's neither a politician or a snooty business person, although she does own a fashion empire. Plus, with modern advances and graces, they come in a variety of colors to help accentuate who you are and what colors you love to wear. See? Win-win. Number 2. Cargo Pants You'd think the pants wouldn't go through major changes over the years. Sure, the materials and stitching can change based on advances in technology to help make them cheaper and fit better, but the concept is still the same for the most part. But for cargo pants, someone wanted to help change the formula while also making it so people could not just have pants, but have plenty of places to put things in those pants. And in the early 2000s, they were all the rage, as they made you feel big and also be convenient in their own way. They fell out of style eventually, but now they're back. And they're making their own splashes in the fashion world. Some of them even have cool camo colorings that you can check out, but the pockets, yep. They're still there. Number 1. Loose Fitting Clothes Fashion has advanced a lot over the years. The trends have come and gone, but for many, the idea of having loose clothing was something that never really clicked. Parents wanted their kids and teens to have clothes that fit and not hanging loose. And so if you did that, you were basically a rebel trying to break the rules. But now, with fashion being as forward and progressive as it is, you don't have to be perfectly buttoned up or prim and proper before going out into the world. If you want to wear a slightly loose shirt, most people won't even give you a look. Want a pair of jeans that are a size too big so they're not constricting you? Go for it. Granted, people wouldn't like your clothes if they were falling off of you. That would be indecent to say the least. 
but if they're a little loose and freeing, by all means, make it happen. What is your favorite fashion trend? Let us know in the comments below and take care.